as I often say, when you sit down to design something, uh, what you draw or what you, what you uh, design uh, is really a culmination of everything that you've seen and done in your life previous to that point. Great storytelling can reconstruct how we view ourselves. It's not a coincidence that storytelling makes subjects easier to understand and can manifest a stronger connection. This is undoubtedly true when discussing Tinker Hatfield's decades worth of work. He broke down our obstructive views and left us filled with moments of inspiration and curiosity. Tinker's craft of industrial design is revolutionary in itself, but what goes unnoticed is his dedication to living a life filled with conversation and a commitment to participate. Taking these ordinary pursuits and elevating them to such an intensified state equipped him with an incredible amount of inspiration. When I draw, and I'm trying to you know, kind of start this process, what I'm doing is a result of everything that I've seen and done or and experienced in my life up to that point. And that's what informs the design as part of that design process. Um, therefore, uh, I can't even remember when I haven't had ideas because I just keep doing stuff all the time. I keep traveling and keep meeting really interesting people and also um, just uh, participating. In 1971, Richard Rogers and Renzo Piano were the winners of an international design competition, which resulted in the George Pompidou's controversial construction. We sketched something, but it was immediately basically a machine, a urban machine. To make a building for culture that looked like a machine was exactly the opposite of the monumental, intimidating, um, you know, marble building, you know. We want to create a sense of curiosity, of, you know, of enjoyment. Fast forward 14 years, at 33 as a corporate architect at Nike with zero footwear experience, Tinker would submit his first sneaker design concept to a 24-hour design contest, and later on be told he would now be considered a footwear designer. In a very short period of time, I pretty much became the lead designer. That moment would kickstart his renegade spirit, leading him to design the most controversial project to date, the Nike Air Max 1. I uh, had known about this uh, very interesting, um, very innovative, and uh, very controversial building called the Georges Pompidou Center. You could see the, uh, the escalators and the heating and air conditioning. You could see the levels of the of uh, you know the different parts of the museum and, and uh, I could see people. It, it really inspired me because it really shook the world of architecture, it shook the world of urban design. It really changed the way people looked at buildings. And I think that's what happened with the Air Max too. I really wanted to uh, um, just push it as far as I could possibly push it without being fired. <laughs> These groundbreaking projects proved how significant disruption could be on the mind. In fact, both the Nike Air Max 1 and George Pompidou have retained their influence since inception. When a storyteller presents their story through their medium, it forces people to think beyond their circumstances, which is vital to break down mental barriers due to their lack of perspective and truth. Tinker's belief he had in himself and his ideas unquestionably led to his thirst to discover more. He never was just designing. He always had designing in him. This was built through his time spent lost in thought auditing past conversations and experiences. Those moments in time are cemented in his sketches. In all of Tinker's pieces, there is a profound level of detail and rarity. You can't help but identify with his work. Tinker's intimate conversations and willingness to participate within our complex world provided us with more than just products that solve problems. They tugged on our emotions. It's not just scribbling on a piece of paper and coming up with a design. It's a lot of effort that goes into trying to be meaningful. He designed products that inspired us to fly, motivated us to run, and gave us the courage to break the rules. His most iconic work dimmed the lines between revolutionary and unusual, a formula that has produced decades of influence and a story that's never ending.